Hi, my name is Zara, I'm 19, I'm from London, and this is 20 Questions with Zara. My course is Electronic Engineering and I'm in first year. I chose to study my course because I really enjoyed maths and physics and GCSE and A-level and I enjoy, you know, working with computers and building things and being creative, so this was my most natural step to take. Studying in uni is definitely different because you have so much more independence, like you have to make the conscious decision to go to lectures and go to seminars and do the tutorials, like no one's going to catch you up on any of that, so it definitely brings out a level of maturity in you. A typical day for me would be waking up and getting breakfast or a cup of coffee and then tuning into the online lectures through my laptop and then spending a couple hours after that catching up on, you know, coursework or studying and then calling it a day. What I like most about my course would definitely be the lab work. Like you get to build so many things, like you get to build engines, different types of circuits, devices, and it stops being work and ends up being really fun, of course, and there's plenty of help from the lab techs as well. On average, I spend around 15 hours a week studying, but it definitely depends on the workload I have that week. The lectures are really laid back and chill, so it makes it a lot easier to be informal and ask for help. It was hard at first to make friends, but Three Kings, they had so many different welcome week events and freshers events that you can do virtually. And there are plenty of group chats that you can join for your course where you can meet new people and help each other out. I'm not part of any societies, but next year I hope to join the Engineering Society. I live at home. The best thing about Kings would definitely be the opportunities that you can gain. Like, you can do so many different kinds of things outside of your course. You can be a student ambassador, a student rep, a student partner, any extracurricular activity that you enjoy outside of school, you can do through Kings. Like, it has so many different opportunities. When I am on campus, I like to go to the Morhan Library because it's such a big library and it basically has every book in the world and you can do so much research through there and it's really a resource that is very helpful when you study. I like to spend as much time as possible in the Somerset House to relax because it has so many bit, you know, open spaces and so many places to eat and cafes and bars and stuff. It's a really great place. As I'm based in Strand, my favourite place to go when I can, when I do have the chance, is the shack. Living in London is really great because it's such a diverse city. There are so many different kinds of people to meet and so much to see. It's basically a country inside of another country. There are so many landmarks and monuments. It's such a like it's such a great tourist attraction, of course. And it's great to look outside of your campus and see basically the whole of London because King's is based, especially Strand, is based in the middle of London. When I graduate, I hope to go into the IT and technology sector and be like an analyst or something related to software. I have used King's Careers and it's such a great help. Like you get to join in so many different kinds of seminars and meet people like employers in the career that you're interested in or people that work in a career that you're interested in. You get so much advice on what it's like to be in a workplace, like a professional workplace and you know what it's like to be a person of colour or a woman in the workplace. There's so much help from so many different kinds of people. My most memorable moment at King's would definitely be the first day that I went to the campus because I was obviously really intimidated because it's such a great uni with such a great reputation. But it was really, you know, surprising because it was really welcoming and the uni itself was really aesthetically like beautiful. So that would be my most memorable moment. Ambitious, inclusive and encouraging.